was so excited uh, having had Father's Day to go into doing the Father's will, doing Abba's will. And that is what we're going to look at this week. And I want to start off the study um, once again just re-emphasizing to everyone that the importance of daily reading, the importance of spending time in the Word of God daily is so important. I've just once again realized how absolutely important it is to daily recognize our dependence on the Holy Spirit and to daily recognize the dependence that we should have on spending time with God as the Godhead. And that includes the Father. Jesus Christ, while He was on earth in human body, um, lived in accordance to what the Father wanted from Him. If you read the story of Jesus, when you go into the Gospels and you read um, the account of Jesus roaming the earth, the most amazing thing was how many times he referred to the will of the Father, the will of the Father. And it is important that we recognize today that when Jesus now from heavenly places rule through his church and us being his church, his Holy Spirit would speak to us, but it would be in line with the will of the Father. And therefore, it's important for us to recognize um, how this topic should be discussed, how this topic should be studied, and how we should speak about this and read about this and gain more information. Last week we looked at Abba, we looked at Abba Father, we said what do God want and why should I do it? We asked those questions and so if you missed it please go back into those videos. But this week we want to study um, the will, doing the will of the Father. I asked the two questions, what is, or the one question, sorry, what is the chief end of man? That's the way that we started off the sermon on Sunday. And we said the chief end of God. So this is Sunday, the 21st of June, if, uh, if you view these videos a bit later. Um, and that was Father's Day. What is the chief end of man? The chief end of man is to glorify God and to enjoy Him forever. And once again, I just want to re-emphasize the importance of understanding what we're saying here. This enjoying Him is enjoying fellowship with Him. The chief end of man is to glorify God through everything that we do, say, um, and, and live. And then to have not only fun, but to, to enjoy fellowship with God, to enjoy God, and to do life with Him. And that is the importance. It is relationship that is so important in this statement. Um, I, I had this conversation. I'm going to re-emphasize what I said to my son in buying him, uh, discovering, um, not discovering, I, I was, I'm at rediscovering the kingdom of God now. Um, I, I spoke to my son on buying him the book, um, Purpose Driven Life, written by Rick Warren. And he said to me, Dad, it's, it's difficult, you know, I'm, I'm reading this and, and there's this drive in me. I want to I wanna get to my purpose. And I put my hand on his shoulder and I said, Son, this is what you have to understand before you continue a single sentence in your read. You need to understand that the main reason God made you was to love you. And he did that with the hope that you would love him back. Now that is ultimate love. Making you, knowing that he's going to love you, but making you with the hope that you would love him back because he gave you free will. And so it's so beautiful when we look into love and who God is. I want to read you Ephesians 5 verse 17. And this is going to be the scripture that we're going to focus on today. Therefore, do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Okay, so therefore do not be unwise. But understand what the will of the Lord is. That's going to be today's scripture. Ephesians 5 verse 17. And this is what I want us to study from the scripture. Any time that a scripture starts, a sentence starts with us. Therefore, you need to go and understand what was before the sentence. Therefore, why? Therefore, what? And so, therefore, do not be unwise. You're going to have to go back into Ephesians, and I want to suggest the following. I want to suggest that you take the whole book of Ephesians. If you take the book of Ephesians and go back to chapter 1 of Ephesians, and you read all the way to Ephesians 5 verse 16, 
you would understand the therefore because it will give you the fuller context if you are too lazy at least read the chapter of ephesians chapter 5 okay so but i want to suggest that you're not lazy so go read the book of ephesians it is a stunning stunning book therefore do not be unwise but understand what the will of the lord is the interesting thing is that in the Afrikaans service on Sunday, what I saw was I took the New Living Translation, Nieuwe Levende Vertaling, and it had the sentence this way. It says, therefore, do not be unwise, but try to understand what the will. Probeer om te verstaan wat die wil van God is. Which was interesting because when I read it, I went, why, why did the translators um, put that in? Why did they feel that putting probeer in was try to understand what the will of the Lord is and and then in sitting with that on the Lord I I realized that it, it's not to say that that you're not going to get it try because you might or might not but here's the thing you will not always understand the will of the Lord in the moment and therefore try and try and understand his will even though you don't try and understand his will because it means that you are actively seeking the will of god in the moment even though you are not understanding but if you say what's the use then i'm going to say this is what the word of god said in proverbs 3 verse 5 and 6 trust in the lord with all your heart do not depend on your own understanding seek his will in all you do and he will direct your path so important that we recognize we will not always know or understand immediately what the will of the lord is and therefore we must always try because that is us drawing near to god and we will see god draw to near because not near to us because god's word says no one who puts their trust in the lord will be put to shame guys let us enjoy a beautiful week on this study um, doing the will of Abba. Let us pray together before we take on this topic. Abba, Father, in the name of Jesus, we ultimately want to do your will because you gave your all. You created us to love us and we want to love you back. So thank you so much, Lord, for who you are. Amen. Guys, you're amazing. Let us do a great study this week. Spend time in the Word of God in prayer and with Him directly. Love you guys. Bye-bye.